Time is money, and I always try to be respectful of that fact when I'm making business decisions. So I absolutely love when I can implement new cutting edge technologies to save me time and make me more money. Today, I wanna to show you a tool that can do bulk image edits and processing. Actually, they can do thousands of images at a time, but what's interesting is it can do it dynamically using AI. So when we make an edit to an image, we can apply it to the entire batch, but use AI to detect that uh, thing that we're looking to change dynamically in each image and then process and export all of them with the changes at the end. It's so powerful and saves you an incredible amount of time. So let's get to it. So let's get right into it. The tool I wanna to show you is called the AIRD Image Matting Tool. Now I did a video on the Image Enhancer from AIRD, another very useful bulk processing image tool, but the matting tool is even cooler. So let me load up some test images in here and show you what I mean. First and foremost, what you're gonna wanna know is that it can upscale your images. I talked about that in the previous video, but if you simply go to edit on the right-hand side, there are different AI models built in, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on the default smooth diff V2 as of me recording this, that could be different by the time you uh, use AI already image matting. And also, by the way, they're giving away a few free licenses. So if you use the link in the description and they're still available, uh, you can lock that in for free, but they have the ability to upscale right here. So I can simply just click X2 and then click enhance image. And it will literally do what it sounds like, double the resolution of this graphic. Now it may not be obvious because we've just got it here in the software, but if I were to batch export this image, it will be double the resolution also Right here, there is the box to apply to batch export. If I click that, and then down here, I'm blocking it, but if I move myself down here in the bottom right corner, you see it says single export or batch export. We have the ability to export all of these in batch, and it will apply that effect to all the images that we loaded. So I loaded up these other images here. It would apply it to all of them, all right? And you can layer on different actions performed to these images. I'll show you a few examples, but Next up on the right-hand navigation, I'm gonna click where it says AI detect, and I'm gonna hit start. Check this out. It ID'd in this image a transportation tool. So if I click that, it highlights where it highlights over here in this graphic what it ID'd as a transportation tool. I can go over here to the next image and I can go AI detect. It says body part, face, and it says human, the whole thing. Uh, let's go to the cat and let's do AI detect here. It says animal. Uh, how about the jellyfish? Let's see what happens here. This is just interesting. So it's again, it says animal. Um, oh, how about this one? <laughs> like an AI angel. It says animal. Okay, interesting. It thinks it's a bird. Uh, let's see here with the skateboarder. It says sports product. It has the sneakers. It has transportation tool. And it has the skateboard. It has, oh no, transportation tool. It actually ID'd the car. Interesting. It picked up that car back there. Uh, human it has. And then it has plants in the back right. Okay, so pretty good. It's even detecting things in the background. Now, I wanted to show you something cool, and they actually have this on the AI RD uh, image matting website, this image with the skateboarder. So I can go ahead here, underneath the AI detect, I can go ahead, well, actually, you know what you can do? You can manually select an area, right? Like this, if I wanna select the human, or you know what I can do, right? I don't even really need to do that. I could also just click where it says human under AI detect. Either way, as long as it selects him, it's going to then, um, if I move myself again, down here in the bottom right corner, I can hit start and it's gonna fire up the image matting functionality that makes this software so special. Essentially, it could be us drawing the box to select what we want to feature from that image or we could let the AI detect do it. Now, I went ahead and allowed it to do the image matting. The software uh, specialty is essentially what you see here. It selects that image, it pulls it from the graphic they also have this slider right here. So I can do this and show the original and I can go to the left and now we have the ability to make changes. So right here on the right hand side, you'll notice we get these additional options. You have the actual mask, what's left behind from what we selected. Uh, we have the background effect. So if I click that, it applies this green screen. Now again, I can always slide the slider to see the original. Uh, now I can either apply a color background. Um, it does green by default, but I can obviously switch that up to any color I want or to the left right there, there is an image. I can click that and I can load up any of the images that come by default or I actually manually uh, uploaded this kind of blurred lights background right here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and leave that, but I could also upload another custom graphic if I wanted. I could resize the skateboarder as well, like you see here. All right. Um, that's weird. Okay, so this little slider here, when I resize him, I have to make sure I move that slider further to the left. Uh, I can zoom in and out though, by the way, also, so you can see the level of zoom. Uh, and then also, of course, just remember, apply to batch export. We're always able to do this in batches. That is another aspect that makes the software so powerful. Again, the dynamic aspect. In this case, it's a skateboarder, right? But we can use the AI detect, right? We can select the human and then we can click apply to batch export. Suppose we did it for this guy and then we jumped on over to this guy right here, all right? Now let me show you another cool feature that you might use this for. So I'm gonna do the AI detect on this guy. So they have body part, they have human. I'm gonna go to manual area and add area. I'm gonna select his eyes, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna hit start. It's gonna do the image matting. This one hopefully is a little bit quicker because it's a smaller portion of the image. There we go. Now it may not be obvious, but we've got the eyes selected. And now if we want to, we could click the pixelate option, which if I move myself again, you can see was right here hidden behind me. And we can pixelate the eyes of this guy. If we wanted to like preserve for anonymity or something, like we have the ability to do that. And of course we can apply to batch. Okay. Uh, they have a black and white option. So if we just wanted to remain colorized there on his eyes, or we could have selected the face and put the rest in black and white. I think that's another interesting one. We can blur the background. Uh, we could apply this feathering effect, which is really just gonna hit like the edges of his hair, stuff like that. Um, so I just thought that's really interesting that you can do that. Let's jump on over to maybe this image right here, I think is really cool. So we can select the human, all right? We already ran the AI detect. So I'm gonna select the human. I'm gonna start the image matting. And when it's done, my plan is to leave her colorized and then let it change the background to black and white. So again, we have the background selected right there. Uh, and again, just a reminder, you can preview the original image versus the new like that. But why don't we go ahead and click black and white and just like that it, and I guess this doesn't really show as well here because there's not a lot going on in the background, but um, it did work. I mean, it kept her colorized and it changed the color of the background. This one's probably the best one that we could do. So I'm gonna hit the AI detect human. So we're gonna select all of the, um, girl here in the nice dress in the flower field we will allow it to basically extract her with the matting feature and now my goal is to apply the black and white background and then i'm going to uncheck right here at the top where it has the background effect when i uncheck that now it's going to reintroduce the background of the flowers and apply the black and white feature there to the background so now you can see exactly how that worked we can also now you can kind of see the feathering aspect it's really tough to tell, but it's right on the edges of her hair where that's being applied. Um, so it's just really nice. I mean, if we look at the before and after, like how cool is that? And keep in mind, guys, this could be like a service you offer on Fiverr or wherever. You could process up to 3,000 images at a time. And again, you don't need to do really anything manually except set up the batch um, processes, right? Again, it's coming up here using the AI detect, selecting human, assuming that you're offering this for pictures of human people, right? You allow it to select the human. You then apply whatever changes you like. For instance, we use the matting feature on the human. We allowed it to remain colorized. We applied the feather feature. We did not apply the background feature. So it leaves the original background, but then we put the black and white feature on the background. And again, what makes this so powerful is that every change you make for these workflows that are going to be applied to every image you put in the batch is you can find the checkbox for apply to batch export. And then in the bottom right corner, they have the batch export button. It'll apply that to every image and export it for you. And when you do the batch export, it even has an option that says shut down your computer when it's done. So what is not to love about that? That's AI already image matting software. There's some free licenses available. I'm going to put that link in the description. They are truly limited by the way. So you might click it and not get one. That just means other people claimed it first. Go ahead, check it out. You may not know how to monetize this yet, but trust me, you're going to want to have this in your back pocket because we know where like the technology is headed, right? All these AI tools where you can implement solutions at scale, like AI already lets us, this is where the puck is heading as famous hockey player Wayne Gretzky once said, right? We want to just kind of know where things are headed and prepare ourselves to capitalize on those things, even if it's not obvious right away. So thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you soon with another new video.